Hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Uh, going, still going through the Nintendo 64 catalog. Uh, right now we're going to be playing uh, Armorines Project Swarm. Uh, I have played this a little bit. Uh, I remember I played it back when I originally got it. And it confused me. Uh, but I do kind of like it. We're going to retry here. I did find my memory card, but apparently it is it reads it as damaged half the time. So, controller pack was changed. Okay, and now we've got a usable. Whatever. Anyways, um, I haven't really figured out uh, whether I like this game or not, uh, but I thought it deserved a little bit uh, longer of a playthrough. Uh, I'm playing it on uh, Nintendo 64, of course, my uh, orange console. Uh, apparently uses the extension pack. I don't know why. Uh, let's see. Uh, it uses the Turok 2 engine. So we should probably play Turok 2 a little bit later. Um, came out in 1999, looks like. Uh, it was also released for the PlayStation. Uh, I don't think I have the PlayStation version. But... And, uh, let me go over the controls real quick so that you can understand why I'm going to have pain with this. So this moves the camera around. This moves my actual character. This is the reload button. This is the shoot button. This is the jump button. Down is crouch, over is zoom. This one is infrared goggles if we get it. I've gotten it in one game and then I've not gotten it in another. So. Not sure there. And then this button, I really don't remember what it is. But my very first time playing through, I couldn't figure out what the reload button was. And it was very weird. So we've basically got uh, two people we can play as. We can play as Tony. Uh, or we can play as Mira or Myra. Who knows. Uh, I like Myra. I like her gun a little better. Uh, I don't have the Rumble Pack installed, because I'm too lazy to find another controller. Uh, you also get passwords in the game. So we're going to do Mission 1. Alright, restore power to the base transport. Keep a lookout for anything strange. Objective B, get into the lower base. Keep those eyes wide open. All right, and here we go. So the main mission, we, we can't skip the cutscene either. I've tried pushing every button I can imagine. Reload. Oh, uh, excuse me, B is reload. A seems to switch weapons, but I can't figure out how to switch the weapons. Well, apparently I just did. I don't know how I did, though. Oh, you double tap. No? Okay, so you... Oh, okay. So you tap to bring up the menu, and then you push direction, and then... What the heck? I'm le learning along with you, folks. Okay, that's the one I want, though. 
Alright, so I've played this. I got your Delaney, he'll unlock the blast doors. Got it. Okay, so there we go. Got the IR goggles. Okay, so to show you what this is when we zoom in, which does not help at all, we can crouch, which does give us more stability when we're firing things that fire a lot. And these are the IR, gog IR goggles. Now they do help in some aspects because you can they can help you find enemies and find items but generally because it limits your vision so much it's not worth using alright so let's go it does have a bit of auto aim which is nice There's also the radar down below. Those little green dots, or yellow dots. Yellow, green. Oop, there's one. Ah. Yeah, luckily the bad guys seem very dumb. Reload, hurry up. Okay. So when you're walking around, uh, and it's very weird, you'll find these, which I didn't know what they are. They're basically little hive things. pack of grenades. And then there are these little things. And kinda, eh. So now the warehouse doors are open. And this is after a few times playing through I finally figured out what was going on. There's one there. I do like the lighting effects, that when you shoot it makes the IR goggles kind of not function in that area. Oh, poor scientist. But see, here's how dark it normally is. Am I still crouching? Yes. But they're basically, you just explore, go into the different buildings. Some armor. I mean, please, it's kind of... I mean, it has a story. And for 1999, it's probably a decent one. So we basically wander from building to building. These are ladders. Well, I do like that you can actually go up the ladders because that's something even games nowadays can't get right. There's nothing more frustrating than when you're playing a game and you see a ladder and your character is like this nimble, agile, borderline superhero. You just jumped over the edge. Find Dr. Delaney to unlock the doors. Okay, got it.
But I think this is going to be one of the games that I do keep. It's just because I do, I do like the nature of it. I'm not really sure what it is about it, because the story is non-existent. But it's not that hard so far. Electric fence is now deactivated. I don't know where the electric fence is. I've never seen it. Like I said, it's a lot of shooting and backing up. Alright, here we go. Back out into the snow. Whoa. Okay. Now, we actually want to go this way. And the only reason I know this is because I've played this before. And now we're going to find... He cracks me up. Some armor. Yeah, the other character has more of a shotgun. Which is all well and good, but... So we've killed all the enemies. Otherwise, this guy just sits here constantly yelling help. The monorail has been activated. Oh, I guess we didn't kill all the enemies. So we're back up, back up, back up. It's behind me. Very dark. There's only one spot to hop up. Which is here. Now this part is kind of fun. But I can't aim, so... I don't know why the monorail has a gun on it, other than why the hell not. Very secured. And there's my password. Save was successful. All right. So I think that's the first time I've actually done that. Okay, so now we're on to mission two. Even though the mission is continuing, we now need to secure the tunnels. Gain answers to the silos. Basically in the same place.
Yeah, the monorail will also run over things. So this entire section is kind of... Like I said, the game's not hard, or at least it's not so far at all. Just riding along, riding along. Gonna get to the point. And now it stopped. So, of course, what do I have to do? I have to climb up the ladders. Here. And there's the little, little nipple thing. Now I turn the power back on. Now, even though these things look like insects, Kind of hang out down there. So you just go to the end, stand, and kill them all. Then we hop back on the monorail, and here we're off again. health meter there somewhere. Went through the wall. How nice of him. There's no way for me to tell if this has horrible frame rate because this is a Nintendo 64. Everything has a horrible frame rate. Lovely little monster tunnel. Incinerating the bugs. Okay, so there's an electrified fence. So we have to come back and you guessed it. Push the button. The electric fence is now deactivated. Woo, go us. All right, back down the stairs, up over the monorail. Oh. This is our first. Hang on, someone's at the door. duties of having pets. There we go. And that's it. We've completed mission two. So that's enough for now. You guys get the basic idea. I'm going to go see who's at the door. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And as always, play on.